my esophagus is on fire. And every time I breathe, it gets hotter. <laughs> It's Sam Lighthammer here with Hot Pepper Gaming, but this week we're doing something a little bit different for Awesome Stuff Week. I'm gonna review Fallout 4, but first, I'm gonna eat this habanero pepper. My heart is pounding so bad right now. All right, let me just put this on the table. actually kind of sweet. Fallout 4 is a sequel to Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. It takes place in the year 2287, about 200 years after the nuclear fallout. <laughs> this is really hot. So for those of you who haven't played a Bethesda game or a Fallout game, it's basically a first person open world like RPG, you. <sighs> My esophagus is on fire. And every time I breathe, it gets hotter. <laughs> and the game starts. It's the year 2077, and you can choose to be either a man or a woman, depending on whatever you want to be. You can like change the way you look, make it look like you make it look like, you know, John Cena, which there's a video of, if you want to go see that. And then you uh, are, you're in your home. It's sort of like, imagine the Cold War never ended. And, um, hold on. <laughs> imagine the Cold War never ended and everybody is still in this weird like nuclear stasis and we're on the brink of the nuclear war. Everything is styled like it's the 50s, like, but it's all powered by nuclear energy. And there's robots that are nuclear powered and like your, all your electricity is nuclear powered. And it's like just weird and eerie, like a weird 50s sci-fi, like just weird. All of a sudden you look out the window and it's just like nuclear fallout and you run and you were selected to be a part of Vault 111. In Vault 111, the, the public thinks that they're there to be saved from nuclear war. Actually, they were saved to become like weird twisted experiments and you get frozen in your cryo chamber you go into like a deep freeze. You wake up somewhere in the middle of 200 year period and you watch your husband or wife get shot, killed. They take your baby, you fall back asleep, you go back into the cry, cry. <laughs> you can freeze again. And then you wake up and everybody in the fault's dead. It's 200 years later, everybody in the fault's dead. You escape into your old busted town and salvage it and make it a sanctuary for other survivors of this post-apocalyptic world to stay in. You can choose from, it's a pros about the game. It's really fun, it's a huge world, right? Like super large, way bigger than Fallout 3, bigger than Skyrim, it's massive. Um, there's lots of choices when it comes to interacting with the other characters and joining factions and there's lots of cool weapons a lot that you'll remember from Fallout 3, right? There's like the nuke launcher that is like a mini nuke gun that blows up. There's the dart that poisons things that are running really fast at you and slows them down, which is like to look broken. Um, there's also the alien gun that it comes with limited ammo. And basically, I forget what this gun's called right now, but it basically zaps things into disintegration. And yeah, I like the character creation. The character creation was great um, and just, it does a great job at making you really believe that you're in this post-apocalyptic universe. Everything is in great detail. I love the companion system. The companion system's awesome. Your companions don't die, which is amazing, right? Like you have these like lethal companions. They're amazing. And they pick up items. Like you don't have to give them items, they pick them up. So like, not my game, but I was watching my friend's game. Like his companion picked up a blowtorch and like killed somebody for him. It was awesome. Some cons about the game, it's not like graphically innovative the way a lot of people are, I believe, are expecting games to be on the Xbox One. 
With that said, um, this is the first title of the series that is going to be PC, or, moddable the way it is on PC. So, if you know modding is something you're into, it will eventually happen for console, which is really cool. That's not a con. My lips <laughs> are on fire right now. If you liked Fallout 3, Fallout 4 is great because the same people made it, and it's very much like Fallout 3. So much like Fallout 3 that some people don't consider it innovative in the series the way Fallout New Vegas was. So if you liked Fallout New Vegas, you probably will not like Fallout 4 very much. But you might still like it because it's a good game. So I rate Fallout 4, 4 out of 5 peppers. And I rate these peppers 5 out of 5 peppers. Yeah, definitely 5. Thank you. You know, like, underneath it, the heat, it actually kind of tastes good.